And here we go. Deshaun Watson has officially requested a trade from the Houston Texans. What is going on, y'all? Five Sports Talk back at it with another video talking, of course, some NFL. And here to talk about this breaking news, which I just got. It's been tweeted out by all the biggest NFL sources like Ian Rappaport, Adam Schefter, you name it. All right. Now it is officially official. So for all those people that thought it wasn't going to happen, yeah, it's happening. Deshaun Watson has requested a trade. So what is going on, guys? If you are new to the channel, make sure to go ahead and subscribe because I do talk a lot of NFL on this channel. Make sure you are following me on all my social media platforms and make sure you have the bell icon turned on because I do post breaking news just like this all the time. So with that being said, Let's talk about this. Okay, so let me start off by saying this. This should not surprise anybody because we had been hearing about Deshaun Watson wanting out for a while now, for a few weeks, certainly, okay? And the interesting part, actually, to me is the fact that Deshaun waited right after they hired a new head coach to announce that he wants out. Do you think he was maybe waiting for them to hire maybe the one guy that he wanted on the trade market, which was, of course, Eric Bieniemy, and, of course, the Houston Texans, in Houston Texans fashion, did not hire him. And so he said, oh, that's all I needed to see. I'm out. I want to trade. Okay, so that's the funny part, just the interesting part that I want to mention. So let's talk about now what's going to happen. All right, so obviously he has put in the formal trade request, and now it has to happen. And let me tell you why. Some people will still argue, oh, the Texans won't trade him. Uh, you know, they'll just keep him. Even if Deshaun wants out, he's still under contract. Here's why that's incorrect. Deshaun Watson and any other player that wants out has to get traded. And, and I'm saying has to in a way because it is just not good for team chemistry. Okay? They just hired a new head coach. The Texans are going to start a new culture. You cannot start a new culture, new team with a guy that doesn't want to be there. So no matter how good the player is, if he does not want to be there, if it is going to become a toxic relationship with that player, you need to trade him. The same thing happened with the Houston Rockets and James Harden. James Harden said, listen, it's not fixable. I want out. And the Rockets said, listen, Instead of us trying to convince James, let's try to get as much as we can, cut our losses, and move on. And that's exactly what I believe the Houston Texans will do. So I 1,000% believe that Deshaun Watson is absolutely going to get traded right now. Now it's just a matter of which team it is. Okay, and we have been hearing that a lot of teams have already called and tried to find out what the asking price was for Deshaun Watson. I've made tons of videos on that. I've covered this a lot. You guys can go check out my recent videos. Here's where I'm at, Okay. The one thing I need to just get through to you guys is the teams that Deshaun Watson is interested in. Not the teams that are interested in Deshaun Watson. That, that's like, damn, you're over to half the lead. The teams that Deshaun Watson are interested in is what I'm curious about. We will most likely get a list of teams from these reporters that he is interested in in the coming days. Maybe it's today. And from that list... We'll see who makes the most sense, who can put together the most compelling trade package and kind of go from there. Again, this is the same thing that happened with James Harden. We'd been hearing about Brooklyn. We'd been hearing about Philly. And obviously he gets traded to Brooklyn. So it's usually going to be one of those teams that is mentioned in the report by the reporters of Deshaun Watson's preferences. Because this trade is going to be all determined by Deshaun Watson because there's no trade clause. He is not getting traded to any team that the Jets want because he will not waive that no trade clause. So if we know that and we know Deshaun Watson wants out because he wants to win, now Deshaun Watson could stay in Houston and they could say, oh, we'll be ready in two, three years. Why do you want out? So Deshaun Watson wants to go to a team that's ready to win now. Not in two years, not in three years, now. So that's why I said it's interesting because a team like the Jets have been popping up and the Jets, I don't believe that they're ready to win now. 
They just had hired a new head coach. They're a couple years away. A team like the Dolphins, are they ready to win now? Maybe, maybe not. So I'm saying there's going to be a lot more teams that I believe are actually going to be viable for that win now spot, okay? Again, I've mentioned a team like the Bears. I think the Broncos, you had Deshaun Watson. That could be a potential win now situation. Certainly the 49ers would be very much a win now situation. So to me, all I'm looking for is that list of teams for Deshaun Watson. And selfishly, as a Bears fan, obviously, I hope the Bears make that list because that list is probably going to determine where Deshaun Watson is going to. So hopefully we get that list. But folks, let me just tell you this much, all right? Whatever team you're hopeful of, just think about the fact that it's going to be a team that I believe is ready to win now. That's why I'm saying I'm not as high on the Jets. I'm not as high on the Dolphins. I'm not as high on any of these rebuilding teams. I'm higher on the 49ers. I'm higher on the Bears. I'm higher on these teams that are ready to win now. Like, think about it like this. You put Deshaun Watson on any of these teams and they become instant contenders. And now you might say, Fies, well, you have to give up our King's Ransom to get him. So you gutted your team. Well, here's, here's what you need to pay attention to. A large majority of the draft capital of, of the capital will be draft capital to get Deshaun Watson. If you give up a player or two, fine. But this is where the GMs for these teams they need to hit on these late round picks to fill out the teams and whatnot. But for the most part, in terms of players impacting the team, they won't be traded as much because it's all going to be draft capital, pretty much, right? It's going to be three first round picks, two second round picks, a third round pick maybe, and, and then and then a star player, most likely. So it's not as many players as people think. It's more draft capital, okay? So that's where I'm at. So again, keep a lookout for that list. That's all I'm going to tell you guys. It's about to get really interesting. I can't wait. This trade is happening. Hold tight. It's going to be fun. I can't wait to see where Deshaun Watson lands. Uh, and believe me, I'm going to be updating you guys along the way. So make sure you are subscribed to the channel as always. Thanks for watching.